Hello guys, we are ready for the part 3 and maybe we are gonna finish the skull. Let's uh, let's see what's going on right here. More exactly, let me do something. So that's where we left last time and that's uh, gonna be the final touch to the skull. Now before I start, please like the video. It's gonna be so helpful for me. So we are having this bad boy here, which in, we need to refine for the last bits to make it just... So let's get the things done with the lower part and let's see what's going on exactly with, with this. So here I'm seeing this kind of a shape. Um, yes, maybe first off I'm gonna go to the move brush, something like that. I want the, the shape to be just straight like that it's not so curved in so many ways this should be good now let's see I'm having 36,000 uh, polygons I'm gonna remesh I'm getting to something smaller just like that so I double the amount uh, of words and now let's see maybe I'm gonna take the crease let's get a smaller scale something like that this should look good. Okay, so we are gonna try to to make the, the teeth much more visible. Just something like that for every single teeth. Okay, so now we can add the cool details around around here. So we are gonna have some uh, beautiful teeth and also a beautiful sculpture for our skull. For the shape of the tooth, you can go for... Uh, just random shapes like that it's not having to get all the shapes just the same let's go to clay strips and we add small details around also what i got i want to do for some tooths i want to make them longer something like that so let's uh, change where they are connecting like this we overlap with the bone like that we get this sort of a shape here I can create a, a small line, just something like that. And I want to scrape a little bit around, just like that. And also here, I'm just going to do the same, like that. And here on this part, I want to show exactly that, the, that this part is just thin. So I can scrape around, just like that should be fine. Some more scrape around uh, this area also here you don't have to be afraid of getting uh, sharp angles but we have to randomize them so there are not like straight lines of scraping instead they are here I want to create some sort of uh, straight uh, passing straight gradient something like that so it's not curved it's just straight going on just like that and also for the for the this we can uh, scrape around so they get uh, that uh, that kind of a texture just a small detail something like this so for the moment this should be our jaw just like that so we can pass through to the set skull just hide the jaw we are gonna do a remesh so we can get much more geometry around let me save because you never know when, when blender crashes Okay, let's see. Okay, so now we are gonna have a lot of geometry to work with because we are having 1,500,000 faces. So first of what I wanna do, I wanna accentuate the area of the nose here. So I am gonna just draw a line around here. And this way I can showcase better where the nose is going, something like, like that. Now I'm going for a smaller strength, something like that, which it's gonna help me to describe better the, the area. So we are gonna have just uh, small hints that uh, this area here it's like that, you see? So you are having a thinner part and it's getting a little bit thicker. In this way we are getting some kind of a contrast around this area, but as I'm seeing it, from uh, the frontal area, I want to just make it a little bit thinner around this area. I'm gonna take some some of the material off from there. Now, because I'm having just a 
much more geometry now i can also work on this detail around here because i want this part just to be thinner like that so let me see i'm gonna move just a little bit the area of the nose so i'm getting a better shape around because i want this shape to be just like that not not so out something like this and now i can easily scrape off some of the material around here because that's too thick in my opinion also by scraping i can get that uh, idea that there it's a thin part here something like that and as i said <coughs> the skull is not uh, smooth in any possible way so we can get those uh, sharp edges now i can work much more better on the lines around here because i want them to be also just smaller something like that these are like the connection in between the bones now i like so uh, so much this part is it because i can get the the final details around here also check uh, check on the images exactly you will see where the skull it's uh, breaking up uh, the bones so it's having this these lines because they are mostly on the same spot let me just rebuild this area here because i don't like how it looks i've just done it uh, to be visible but it was too big on that moment you can get some parts bigger so they are not uniform just as a as a line it's having the same thickness everywhere instead in some parts maybe the line it's going a little bit uh, more something like that now we are gonna have also one break going on from here but let me adjust the scale and also the strength okay now the brush is small enough so we get a break right around this area something like that and we are going around this part we are gonna have also separation around here just like that and as I said, work on the line, don't leave it like that, because now the line is just boring. It's not helping you in any possible way. It's just like, okay, so you drawn over a skull, a line. It's not uh, looking like something natural. And also, the real bone, it's where it's meeting. Even though it's looking like separated, it's well encapsulated one, one into the other. Like they are cut around something like that we still need to make sure that we are showcasing that uh, wiggle in between the line the shakier it is and the more random it is is just looking like natural so you see you you are having those uh, wiggly line also you i guess you are remembering those lines around the, the top part of the head which they are going something like that but on, the, on a smaller scale so that's basically what's happening with the lines they're just uh, so so good sometimes they go something like that so they are well cut around the shape let me see where where is going to be the next line <clears throat> a little bit smaller something like that so the line from uh, from this area here should go uh, to something like that and it's it's carrying on to this part then we have one which is going on the top let's also get that shape that i'm that i was showing to something like like that also here what i can do we can create a, a smaller bone from here just like that let's make it more random just like that and of course we can we can scrape off around so we are just suggesting some of the position and so the line is not just contrasty every just everywhere like in some parts you can see clearly some parts it's let's say losing something like this okay let's continue with uh, with the side from here i can take this line around here and let's go to something like uh, this around the back area and i'll do this <laughs> zigzag then i will separate this area with a line around here just like that and this should be it let me see i have the line around here yes it's not continuing so i'm gonna accentuate the line around this area 
let's draw a little bit more under even though we are not gonna see too much from me then i will just get the brush a little bit bigger and i'm gonna create some some parts like that i like so much the line how how i got it around here it's looking like that's how it should be i'm getting much more of the of that zigzag let's scrape a little bit around here because just like this also let me show you what's happening so you see how they go they are having this this kind of a structure around especially here you can see those uh, zigzags around for for the building of the of the bones and maybe the last line which we are gonna do it's gonna be right here in the middle but i will uh, disable for the moment symmetry because we do not want a symmetric uh, line instead we want something to go just like that okay so i will shake my hand okay something like that until this point let's get this area a little bit more sharper because it should uh, look just like that the under part also it's something like this and also here especially here because uh, the the area of the of the eye here should be the the thinnest part of the bone from the whole from the whole eye hole here we have so much less bone and also let's work on the last thing until we we are gonna get the noise around for the for the skull which are the, the upper tooth, uh, teeth and also maybe i will remember to, to make a symmetry maybe a little less strength and also as always try not to make every tooth every tooth the same shape they are seeing one to, to to be similar with the other mm, that's not so so real so let's try to draw a little bit more something like this and try to for this one to go something like that let me also get some much more bump around this for this one maybe we can get also on the other way something like that just less so it's bringing a little bit more contrast around this area something like that but i think that's just a little bit too much so i'm gonna smooth around this area i'm gonna leave it only here like that i'm gonna do on the other way around here that's just looking much better and also here i can do something like something like that so i'm trying to reveal this channel around here and also i can add up on the other side like that so now we can see a little bit better the channel but we are not trying to make it just obvious like here am i let's also work on this channel around here something like this and i can scrape oh you see that's perfect because it's not perfectly smooth it's having this kind of a shape which it's just good for me let's scrape a little bit for now from the tooth okay so we get the most of it just looking good maybe here what if you want to do it here uh, we should have uh, the nasal channel you can just suggest it something like like this that's how it should be and also now we are just gonna get a smaller strength because we want to add some noise so uh, point one should be fine and we are gonna go for uh, let's see let me see texture we add a new texture here we go clouds set let's see if the scale is good and now that's the right moment to save because okay now that we are having the the clouds texture we can just paint around and we are gonna get some noise from some kind of a reason blender is choosing to, to do that mostly where we are having this kind of cavities and less around here but somehow it's good because we do not want this noise to be clear everywhere like here inside it's good for me but here outside i just want a bit of it here we can make something like that let's add some around here and also here so that's gonna make our skull look more natural because it's not just smooth bone around here maybe we can smooth around this area something like that 
and as we can see the the whole noise texture is not just uniform we throw we throw the noise texture right at it here we go no we want some parts to have it some parts not to so we give a hint of randomness also on uh, this part let's go to object mode so i can select the jaw and i can apply the same noise because i'm still having the texture the noise texture i will add some around here some around here just like that i see that i'm getting much more noise around here okay just a little bit smooth on this area let's get something on these parts like that maybe we can put some inside also just like that so now the skull is looking much more better now i hope you like how it's looking and i guess we are finished because we are having every single thing that uh, that school needs and next next up i'm gonna do a retology for it if you want to use it as a low poly model that was the tutorial for the moment guys oh let me fix the lighting okay now with the right exposure let me get the, <laughs> the microphone just closer to me <laughs> that was the tutorial guys I, ho I hope you enjoyed the tutorial that was for uh, part three we just finished our school we are having over 1 million polygons and a lot of details let me just give you a final look around here say hello now I'll, i will appreciate so much if you are giving me a like it's just a small support that uh, it's helping me a lot subscribe to the channel and comment if you're having any questions guys that was for the moment the model is gonna be available on my patreon account for, for the patreons see you into the next one bye